For I am the least among the apostles. That I am not meet to be called an apostle. Because I have persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than them all. Yet not I, but the grace of God, which was within me. Amen. If I was to leave a thought today, it would be stop tripping oh, oh, oh. and move forward. <laughs> stop tripping and move forward. Does God, does God want us to be marred in guilt and regrets? Or does he provide a way out of them? What do you need to know about forgiving yourself? Our past deeds can sometimes weigh very heavily on us. There is no undue thing we have done in the past. Though many of us wish we would, we could. The Apostle Paul regrets even the great Apostle Paul look at his past with great regret. For I am the least of the apostles who I am not worthy to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. 1 Corinthians 15 and 9. Paul wrote this about 20 years after his persecution of the early Christians. The early church. They and they indicated that he had no by no means forgotten his shameful destruction and action as a young man. Amen. The Bible records shows that Paul left that life behind and went on to lead a much more constructive and productive life. And as we will see, he had much to say about forgiveness and not remaining stuck in feeling of guilt. Yes. Yes. Psalms 103, 11 through the 12th verse, explains this wonderful truth about God's forgiveness. As for the heavens are high above the earth, so great his so great is his mercy towards those who fear him as far as the east is from the west so far he removed our transgressions from us God's mercy towards us given us all chance to move forward in our life with the clean slate so stop tripping there are problems with guilt. The problem with guilt. Guilt can be a healthy emotion to the heart to alert us that the fact that we have made mistakes and we need to make changes in the way we treat others or, or change in the way we live our lives. But if we have Feelings of guilt after repentance and after making needed changes, it can become an unhealthy emotion. If you still feel these emotions after you repent and get forgiveness and back to Jesus' name, then it's unhealthy emotions that you're feeling. Hanging on to feelings of guilt rather then the offense are real or imagined can prevent you from giving yourself and moving on with living a productive life. Amen. It is important to establish whose opinion readily matters and know how God views us. The apostle Paul explained that God has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he has ordained. He has given assurance 
of this to all by raising him from the dead. Acts 17 and 31. Somebody get it for me. Acts 17 and 31. There will be a time for all of us to answer to God by, by the judge, by him. For those who are being called today, the time of giving account and being judged is now. Somebody get 1 Peter 4 and 17. God has made it possible for us to forgive our sins and reconcile him back to the death of Jesus Christ through repentance and baptism. When we have truly repented and been baptized, we are forgiven completely. And God reconciles uh, your motives. Colossians 1, 21 and 22. And ye and you who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he has reconciled in the body to his to his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. When God has forgiven us and reconciled us to himself by the death of his son, there is no reason to hang on to guilt feelings and anything in your past. In the words of the Apostle Paul, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8 and 31. Moving forward, when we have repented of our sins, been baptized, made the necessary changes to our lives, it is time to leave the past behind and move forward. Stop tripping. Even after baptism, we will always need to be aware of the times we have fell short. And we will always have to re regret, repent of our sins when, he, when we enter in our lives. Our focus, though, should be forward, looking forward. And we should bear in mind that when God forgives sin, he forgives it completely. And don't remember it no more. And desires to see us move on. He's not worried about it, so stop tripping. Just move on. Just, just go and find something else to do. An encouraging passage from the book of Jeremiah is repeated in the book of Hebrews. This is the covenant that I will make. Move with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and into their minds. And I will write them. And then he adds, their sins and their law lawless deeds, I will remember no more. He don't remember what you didn't do with the law, what you did do with the law. He doesn't remember all your dirty sins and all your dirty habits. He completely has forgotten it. So stop tripping. Stop tripping. Amen. Hallelujah. It's sad. Hallelujah. That we fight every night in our sleep. It's sad, hallelujah, that we go to bed and toss and turn and can't sleep. Hallelujah, because of the things we've done in our past. Hallelujah, we're sad. Hallelujah, you can't forget. Hallelujah, that how the guy used you. Hallelujah, use your body. Hallelujah. When you was in the church, stop tripping. Hallelujah, because you don't ask God to forgive you. Hallelujah, so forgive yourself. It's sad, hallelujah, when the enemy put in your mind, hallelujah, that you are not delivered. Hallelujah, you're still the same old person, hallelujah. You're still, hallelujah, fumbling over in your sin. You're still, hallelujah, falling in the dark. Hallelujah, turn on the light then. Hallelujah, start tongue talking. Hallelujah, start remembering and feeding the devil the word of God. You need to stop tripping. Hallelujah, move forward. Hallelujah, stop thinking about should have wanted you. Stop, hallelujah, thinking about, hallelujah, all the bad things you used to do. Ain't nobody thinking about that. I know my God is not. He is not in heaven worried about what Trina doing now. He's not worried about what Nina doing now, what Shanita doing, what George doing. He's not tripping. So you stop tripping and move forward. Forget about the things that are behind you. Press towards the marker. 
Get up the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Get up off the stool and do nothing and move forward. Forget about your past. Put it behind you. Let us press. Work forward. Let us believe in Jesus. I am delivered. I will not be defeated. I will not hang up. I will not be defeated. How in my mind? Are you gonna tell the devil? Get on the side of your bed. Say I'm gonna sleep tonight. Cause my God give us sleep. Hallelujah. Tell the devil you don't have to wrestle in my mind anymore. Cause my mind and my body belongs to God. So stop tripping and move forward. Lay down and take your rest. Forget about the devil and his imps. Tell them to get behind you in Jesus' name. Get behind you. In Jesus' name. Get behind you. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Read Acts. Somebody get it. Hallelujah. Who has Acts? 31, right? 17 and 31. 17 and 31. Because he had appointed a day. Because he had appointed a day. In the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained. He ordained Jesus. He appointed a day after your death. So stop tripping. Why are you on the earth? You already done got on your knees and say, God, please forgive me of all my sins. Yeah. Amen. Bishop. And you slept with Tom, Dick, and Harry, you don't already got forgiveness. Amen. And if you got forgiveness, hallelujah, and God gave the gift of speaking in tongues, you ought to be glad. Because you're speaking a heavenly language. So that is your token that you're going to heaven. Tongue talking people are going to heaven. So if you're not tongue talking, you ain't going nowhere. Hallelujah. So stop tripping about your past. Stop tripping that you was a crackhead. Stop tripping that you was a dealer. Stop tripping that you was a stripper. Stop tripping that you was a gambler. Hallelujah. Move forward. If you have gotten godly sorry and God has forgiven you, he don't remember it. Who cares what everybody remembers? God doesn't remember. That's the one you're concerned about. So stop tripping and move forward. Give your God a high praise. Somebody praise the Lord. Give him a high praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All the devil's trying to do is stop your praise. Hallelujah. When praises go up, blessings come down. He's trying to stop your praise. Trying to stop your life from being productive. But the devil is alive. Stop tripping and move forward in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 H